What's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Super Mini YouTube. This will be my second episode into NBA 2K14 tutorials, and today we're going to be going over layups and dunks. That means the whole nine euros, hop steps, spins, everything. We can even get flashy with it, but let's hop into it, y'all. Alright you guys, the first thing that we're going to be going over is the runner slash floater. Pretty easy move. It really didn't change from NBA 2K13. All you got to do is drive towards the basket and then flick the right stick behind you. Now, there's one thing that is wrong with this. I want to re redo this. Now, up in the top left corner, there's a HUD. Every button that I press, it all lights up, guys. It all lights up. So, let me show you real quick what's about to go down. Now this is the problem that I've been having with 2K14. You can do a reverse dunk without gambling. And this is why. I'm going to hold RT. I'm going to drive to the basket. And then I'm going to flick the stick back. Why does he do another floater? I, I just It's just simply something that is messed up in this game. It's no reason the guy should be doing a floater while you're holding the turbo. At all. So, let's move on to the next move. Normal layup. Something real easy. You drive towards the basket, and then you just hold the right stick to the basket. Now, that right there was a contested layup. Don't know why he did it. Maybe I need to put a little bit more speed into it. So let's look at it full speed. Let me come from half court. All right, here we go. All right, all you do is flick the stick right at it. And he fell. That animation, don't know why he did it. <laughs> now, reverse layup is a little bit different. You got to drive along the baseline, and then when you're in mid-range, just hold the right stick towards the baseline. You don't hold it backwards anymore. You can't go backwards with it. You got to hold it towards the baseline, all right? So, let's take a look at it. Let's see if I can get the perfect spot right. All right. Nope, didn't do it. All right, now I did it. See, you kind of got to get to, like, the blue spot on the court. Then you should be fine. Euro steps. Euro steps are my bread and butter. They're so easy to do this year. Like, all you got to do is drive to the rack and press it left or right. He'll do it probably 99 point million percent of the time. Let's take a look at it facing the other way. All you got to do is press the left stick in another direction. That's all you got to do. It's, it's too easy. You know what I'm saying? I think it will be an overpowered move. You guys are probably going to do it a lot. The hop step, same thing. All you got to do is add RT to the to the arsenal, drive to the rack RT, and just hold the analog in a different direction. Hop step all day. Now, let's take another look at that hop step from a different direction. All right, I'm going to come from this angle of the court, and then I'm going to press the right stick to the right. Hop step right at the court. No problem. Now, let's look at the last thing on the list, which is dunking. Now, what I can tell you guys about dunking, it is a gamble because you can only hold RT and the right stick towards the basket. That's all that you can do. Now, if you have somebody with a certain dunk patch package such as Michael Jordan, it's going to take you time to get the timing right to do his foul line dunk, or you may not even complete it half the time. To do 360s, a lot of people are going to try to do the spin layup way, whereas though you got to drive to the rack and then you got to spin it's going to be hard because now you can't just double tap B anymore. You have to actually go in and do it manually. And it actually goes into a spin move and then a shot. So it's very hard to do those. So just, let's just look at a regular dunk. I'm going to try from the foul line first. See that? Something easy. Something nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from a different angle. Now the thing about this, like I said, you guys are gambling. So, you got to press the right stick towards the basket. All right? That's the only thing you can do. That's the only way you can get it done. But uh, let me back out. I'm sorry. Let me show you guys one last time from another angle. While well, you just got to press the analog towards the court and pray to God you do the dunk that you want. Now, for the guys that have special dunk packages, this is probably going to be something that annoys you the most. Because if you have reverse dunks, you just have to pray that they do a reverse dunk. And it is what it is. But hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. This is IKC signing out. And uh, my next video will be Triple Threat. Peace, y'all. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. 
Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.